G'day, ice cream lovers. My name's Steve Christensen. Welcome to this episode of the Scoop School podcast. We call it a podcast. It's more of a vlog, but I just hate the word vlog. Anyway, if you'd like to subscribe, just hit the subscribe button and the little uh, bell, which will alert you when we have new content. I tell you, we're kind of pumping out this content every single day. We strive to have a video that will help you grow your ice cream business. Now we're gonna to talk today about the age old problem of what to dispense or how to dispense nuts and sprinkles without spilling them all over the place. Very simple uh, idea. Uh, but I do wanna thank our episode sponsor before we jump in, which is Lockhead Vanilla. Lockhead Vanilla are accessing vanilla beans from all over the globe. They process them right here in St. Louis, Missouri, and they have over 300 different types of vanilla extracts, uh, purees, flavors, uh, that will meet your ice cream making needs. So lockheadvanilla.com, L-O-C-H-H-E-A-D, vanilla.com. Don't say Lockheed Vanilla, everybody says that. They, they are gracious and they put up with it, but Lockhead is the key. Thank you, John, George, Darren, uh, Matt, and all the crew down there. Now, there is a very common problem with dispensing small granulated uh, products to put on top of ice cream. So, Often when you're dealing with uh, a nut topping or a nut topping blend, which is generally peanuts, almonds, maybe cashews, using a ladle or some sort of spoon like this doesn't always work. You end up spilling product, not only on the counter, but sometimes in other products, which is terrible. If you've got your nut products there next to or around your strawberries, uh, by rights, if you spill just one or two little fragments of those nuts, into the strawberries, the strawberries have got to go because you've got this cross-contamination problem. Um, so dispensers are great. These work well for the larger particulate or the larger add-ins. These products here, these are actually wall-mounted dispensers from server products. I'll put a link down below. They're not a sponsor. Hopefully one day they will be. Um, they're great. I think their newer line is more streamlined and square. But these work very well because they're portion controlled. However, if in relation to sprinkles and nuts, if I had to go to this thing all the time, I'm telling you, I might even wear it out. It, uh, you'll use it all the time. So a very simple way to do that, to portion control it and not necessarily spill it everywhere, is simply get a cup and a domed lid. And what you do is basically put the domed lid on this cup. Come on, mate, I didn't practice this beforehand and I'm pretty sure that this lid fits here. Um, <laughs> It doesn't. Am I going to give it another turn? I kind of feel, oh, there we go. So you put your dome lid on the cup, and then having the opening in the top of this dome lid means that you can very easily sprinkle a very directional and, uh, and focused sprinkle of nuts and uh, or sprinkles. So whenever we use our sprinkles here, we use them so that, let me get a cup. I can very easily just pour these sprinkles over a sundae or on top of a uh, ice cream. No spills, no mess, and look, relatively inexpensive sprinkles and some of these nut blends. I'm not overly concerned if I go a little bit over or a little bit under the one ounce mark. What I'm more concerned about is wastage, and that gives us the ability to be able to uh, portion out and top your sundae products, cones, and other items with nuts or sprinkles. Here we go again with the nut blend. Again, very, very focused, targeted nut blend product and goes right on top of there very easily without spilling, without cross-contamination, and you're more than likely going to have them in your store anyway. Simple principle uh, to hopefully help a problem that most ice cream shop owners struggle with uh, so far as dispensing nut sprinkles and all of those kind of smaller granulated toppings. Look, thanks for tuning in. Basic principle today, I hope it was helpful. If you have any suggestions as to some of the conundrums that we should uh, try and solve here on the Scoop School podcast, drop us a line, steve at scoopschool.com. We always love hearing from people. In fact, often when people call Scoop School and I pick up the phone, like it's happened a couple of times today, uh, most people say, hey, I didn't realize it was you picking up the phone. Hey, the, the self-appointed headmaster is here to help you, whether it's uh, email, phone, or through this uh, Facebook uh, community. So keep on scooping. See you in the next video.